This was something very, very interesting. The Doro Miami shooter was made wild claims about Diddy and Cassie. And these claims happened to happen in 2018. And let me show y'all this. This was really, really, really creepy. So this guy in 2018, he got... Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The boule is, the is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. And it's the black people. I had settlement with Sean, okay? Now you hear that? He said P. Diddy is part of the boule, which is a part of the... Uh, now, if you, you know, this sound like some shit they say in the barbershop, you just blow off. But this, this incident, or this interrogation took place in 2018. And with it being 2023, everything he's saying is like, what? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are. Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the, on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff and I, would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. This, I mean, if he was a sex slave, this is an ugly ass sex slave to get. And I, you know, I could tell if a man is a good looking man, even though I'm not gay, you know what I mean? Shout out to my gay brothers and sisters, but look at him. I mean, damn, Puff. I mean, if, if you did use him as a sex slave, you couldn't do better than that. You go go down and get some motherfucker out of bodega to take it. Come on, man. Come on. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes, and I came back, and I sued for the herpes, and won. But they didn't did. So he says he caught herpes, and we could tell because he has a very hairy, hairy back. And I don't know why he went and hired a Garifalo to be with Cassie. Let, let's keep it going. Mark Eros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon's here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording. Don't he look like he make a great falafel? And I did so. They gave him back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Mark Gerkos used to be Michael's Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he dropped Michael and they all deed him, okay? He didn't overdose, they all deed him. Because they keep the royalties of the music. So after I was sex slave with, with Kasi, I would cut up off and make, I would make PDD uh, a gyro. I make a gyro, I put, I put lettuce, pickle, tomato on the gyro, and I return to store to work. Michael alone made $860 million alone last year. What happened is Diddy and Ross, which they good buddies, okay, mm -hmm. they, they, they gay. If he was the sex slave, you know he was in there stinking. That's number one. So, you know, if Cassie had to go through this shit with him, you should pay Cassie another hundred million puff. Okay? You you should pay another because this is who you hired. This is who you hired. This was the sex slave, man. Jesus Christ. Who both Eddie and Ross and Cat. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy? Yeah. They're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Cabin is a homicide. So he's saying all three of them are gay. So maybe they would play dick swords or something at the freak offs. <laughs> and then Khaled. I'm pretty sure in these freak offs, Khaled was very positive if he was in them. I'm just saying, I'm not accusing Khaled. I'm just going off what this man says. But uh, I could hear Khaled. Another one. Another one. Like, come on. Poor. Oh, 
Okay. So who support him? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I say that wrong. No, 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 no. Hamas supporter. Okay. All right. Now listen, y'all, all this he's talking, this interview took place in 2018. So I I don't know. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian, okay? Um, the Sirach agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. So the freak offs were sponsored by Ciroc and uh, De Leon Tequila. I think that's what he's saying. These freak offs, they had Ciroc. I don't know what flavors uh, they had, but uh, Ciroc, you have you you have this man out of a bodega as a sex slave, where him, Khaled, and Rick Ross play dick swords. I'm at a loss for words here. This is this is rough. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Tupac killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people. Bro, is this real? I got to do some, is this shit real? They say it came out 2018, but man, this, why would this just be coming out now? Well, maybe it didn't come out because they just thought this was some crazy person. Listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous, okay? That's how they do it, all right? Um, Chewbacca's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is following. The hip hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs along in the United States. They move, you need to involve the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh, by customs, by, by the DEA, yeah, okay. inside the United States, okay. They, they move what's called high grade powered MDMA. They move cocaine and they move uh, liquid cocaine in the bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move it. I seen the liquid cocaine, I've drank it myself. Having sex with Diddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not. He did, he had sex with Diddy and Cassie allegedly on liquid cocaine. This is him saying this, people. And if there are any lawsuits coming for me, I don't have any money. It would be very hard to recover juice from a rock. Um, liquid cocaine was it liquid cocaine or red bull good he drinks it all the time you know sean combs Puff Daddy. yeah so we made it through that boy what a horrific thing and puff like Wow, it's just the fallout, man. This whole P. Diddy thing, you know, it's like you watching a big 757 jet just fall out of the fucking sky with both engines on fire. But it's not falling fast enough. It's slow falling, and we're all looking at it, and we see the smoke and the flames come, and you hear people hollering, but it's, it's, it's going slow. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm Diddy, I'm calling Russell Simmons. I'm like, yo, man, who's your contractor? I, yo, Playboy, I need to get the, uh, I need, to, yo, Playboy, I need to get, I need to get me a mansion in, 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 in Bali, Playboy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to go to Indonesia, Puff, or you're going to have to lay down. And yes, he did have on a hospital gown, so maybe he was medicated. I don't know, but he went and did a shootout or something. Maybe he got some bad drugs. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is all alleged. This is just what he said. This is allegedly. Um, could this be some weird coincidence? Who knows? Who am I? But just a comic. I I don't I don't know. But this shit is it's horrific, uh, to say the least, man.